Guess what? I have a problem with game dev videos on YouTube. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Are you talking about me? It has nothing to do with the video themselves, but it's how most people watching them think that these game devs are super smart and that they can never do something quite like that. But I thought being an e-celeb made you a better game dev. It's just not true. The truth of the matter is, you can make games just as well or even better than most of us on here. And the best part about it is you don't even need to go to school to do it. Today, I'll share my story on how I started making games, show you some of my early projects, and teach you how you can do it 10 times faster. So get ready to start your game dev adventure as we travel back in time to hear mine. But first, Core. Core is a free new game creation platform that lets you build, publish, and play games. If you're new to making games, Core is a great way to start, especially if you want to quickly set up 3D multiplayer games. And the best part is no coding is needed. You can get started right away using thousands of free, high quality sounds, art assets, and even music. But Core also lets you create your own game engine logic using Lua. You can build games from scratch or remix and reimagine content shared by other creators. And when you're ready to publish, your game will go live instantly on the Core platform just with a little click. As I mentioned before, Core takes away all of the hassle that usually goes into making a game, like networking, which is a huge pain. In addition, Epic led an investment of $15 million, and Core has announced 50% revenue share with top creators. That's double the share of what Roblox currently has. Core also just announced their latest game jam in partnership with Level 80, the City Building Jam. With five diverse categories and dozens of winners and a massive prize pool of 25K, the premise is simple, recreate your favorite real life city using Core. This jam is a great way to improve and show off your skills and to make some serious money. And if you're interested, the jam already started. Core is free, so you might as well jump over there and give it a shot. And make sure to check the description for more information. My story begins quite a long time ago. It actually started in 2008. Now for some of you, you may think I'm a boomer because you probably weren't even born then. And that may be true. It was 13 years ago and I was only 12 at the time. And a really close friend of ours came over for a sleepover. I was super excited, we were gonna play Star Wars Battlefront 2, maybe play some Sonic Adventure. But during the sleepover, he kept talking about this software called Game Maker. Little did I know that this was the start of a passion project I would continue for the next decade. So a month or two later, I actually was getting really curious about what this software was. And in 2008, there wasn't a whole lot of online resources for learning Game Maker. So the best way you could learn it was through a book called The Game Maker's Apprentice. Basically, it was this whole fleshed out guide on how to get started on your first project. So I decided that I would sit down and try to read the book and see what would happen. After getting through a couple chapters, I actually managed to learn enough to create my first game. And this game was called Fantic Moon. I don't know why, but at the time I was obsessed with stick people shooting ghosts. It's a weird one, but 12 year old me thought it was brilliant. So I made it and I was super proud of what I created. It was my first game and I even made the soundtrack. Let's take a listen. So after finishing my first official game ever, I spent the next year or so making these little projects, experimenting, and just learning. Progress was pretty slow, and I wasn't learning a whole lot because I was using Game Maker's drag and drop feature, which isn't actual scripting. But it didn't even matter because I had the game dev passion burning inside of me. By the time I was 16 and 17, we started to get disinterested in games and kind of moved away from the whole game studio idea. But I still had this passion deep down inside to make games. So I decided to form my own studio and I called it Virith. So now that I created my new studio, I ended up making a website and I thought this would be a new age of game dev for us. I would actually try to make good games that were complete and interesting. At this point, I actually had a computer that had access to the internet, meaning I could look up and learn stuff without reading a book or reading Game Maker's manual. And here's where I felt the turning point was with my game development journey. I created a game called Fantic Moon for a one week little game jam thing. Now, Fantic Moon was one of those games that I tried to remake over and over again, and I thought this would be a perfect way to actually make a little Metroidvania. And the contestants were me, my brother Crape, and who a lot of people know as Brain OS or Brainios or however you pronounce it, who's actually a friend of ours at the time, and he makes some awesome Metroidvanias, uh, specifically Saving Princess. Be sure to check it out. 
Anyway, creating Fancy Women was a really fun experience and I really learned a lot from it. I had a couple bosses and I made it in a week, so that's pretty good. And I felt like I learned quite a bit from it and I felt like we were entering a new phase of game development. I made a couple more titles during that period, but ultimately I ended up shelving all of it because I was getting ready to go to college and I was thinking about what I wanted to do with my career. And I want to be a graphic designer. And that's actually my job today. And so I'm very grateful for that period of investing in my design career. But it was sad because it was a couple of years that I actually went without thinking about game dev. So when college started up, I moved. I was at a new place around different people. And I was hanging out with some people in a class one day, and one of the guys in the class was actually a, a game dev. It was really cool and inspiring that there's a guy that actually published a game, he made his own soundtrack. It was just really sweet. And he actually encouraged me to get back into game dev. And I was so inspired that I thought, you know what, I need to do this. So that week, I downloaded Game Maker Studio, because at the time I was using Game Maker 7 and 8.1, and I started to create this top-down Zelda-like game called Gorf. You're basically a frog and it's like Zelda and there's slugs that are rude. It's actually a really fun idea and I really want to revisit it. And this was one of my first games that I actually planned. I thought about the strategy. I wrote stuff out. I developed characters, dialogue systems. And it was so cool because I felt like, wow, I'm an adult now. I can think and I can actually make games that are a little bit better. So Crepe and I worked on Gork for a couple months and then I got the random urge to make an MMO. Now, many of you have heard this story. If you want to hear more of the story, make sure to check out this video right here on how I made Fantasy World and Wizards. I made them in Construct 2 and I started to play around with different engines. This is when I finally ended up moving away from Game Maker. I still love it to this day, but I really wanted to try something different and, you know, get my feet wet with different engines and eventually 3D. This really was a fun season of rediscovering that love of game dev. And I learned so much from experimenting. And at this point, I could actually watch tutorials that made game development a hundred times easier. And now we fast forward where we're currently at. Fear Earth is still growing as a studio. We've put out a couple games, Kanapon, Calamari Madness, Rocket Pods, and of course, Do Drop Dynasty. You can wishlist it on Steam here. And if I'm being truthfully honest, I feel like I've learned the most in the past two or three years than I did in the whole 13 years altogether. And here's the great news. If you want to be a game developer, it's easier than ever. I don't care if you've never touched code in your life. I don't care if you're terrible at art. I don't care if you are an artist. Game development is so incredibly easy now because of the resources that are out there and all the amazing people that are doing tutorials and creating services that make it so easy to make games. I truly believe you can shave off time and become a fantastic game dev in a couple of years if you actually just watch these videos, learn a language. If you're using Godot, learn Python. Just learn languages so you have a better idea of the structure and then get comfortable with the game engine. And the biggest takeaway of all is you can't compare yourself to everyone on the internet. It's really easy to get discouraged. You look at people that are super talented and think, how come I'm not there yet? How come I'm not doing what they're doing? But you have no idea what they did to get there in the first place. And social media is really good at tricking us into believing that everyone's perfect at something, but we suck. So I really want to encourage you, if you want to be a game dev, start today. Will you get better? Of course. But you have to enjoy every little victory. And as cliche as it sounds, you have to enjoy the journey because it will take some time. But if you sit around thinking about how long it's going to take, you're not going to get any closer. So get started today. So if you have any questions about my game dev adventure or if there's any games that you'd like to see more about, make sure to leave a comment down below. Also, a huge shout out to Buddy Games, Cosman Dev, James Kennedy, Rybread, and the other fantastic Patreon supporters. You make these types of videos possible and I just appreciate you guys so much. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure to check out Core. They're doing some fantastic stuff and this game jam is pretty spicy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll catch you next time for another game dev adventure.